Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Tomcat on your Mac operating system. So let's get started. First of all, open your favorite browser and search for Tomcat. And the first result which will appear here will be from tomcat.apache.org. So just click that link. And here you can see the landing page for the Tomcat. So now you can see on the left hand side the Tomcat versions, right? And we are going to uh, download and install the latest version, which is Tomcat 9 at the time of making this video, right? So under downloads, just click Tomcat 9 and then just scroll down a little. And here under binary distributions, so under binary distributions, you will be able to see core here. And then you will be able to see some options, for example, zip file or tar or 32-bit uh, windows zip file or 64-bit windows zip file or other installations right so what we need to download is the first option which is the zip file okay so just click on the first option which is the zip file option which is going to download this zip file on your mac operating system so once this zip file is downloaded you just need to extract it. So I will let it download for some time and I will uh, just create a Tomcat folder on my desktop and let's rename it to Tomcat. So just Tomcat. So this is the directory in which we are going to extract our uh, downloaded zip file. Okay. So I'm going to just uh, double click on the zip file which I have downloaded and I can see here this zip file and then I'm going to just move it to the Tomcat folder. Okay, so let's move it here to the Tomcat folder. And now this Apache Tomcat 9.0.0 M22 is in my Tomcat folder on my desktop. Okay, so once this folder is on your Tomcat folder, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open the terminal. So just open the terminal and just uh, go to that uh, Tomcat folder. So because it's in my uh, desktop, so I will just CD to the desktop first of all, and then Tomcat, okay? And you can just do LS here, and you can see this Apache Tomcat folder is there, right? So I'm going to just CD inside that folder, Apache Tomcat folder, and I will do LS once again, list all the files, and you can see these are all the files which are inside this uh, folder, Apache Tomcat folder, right? Now I'm going to uh, go one level in inside a bin directory. So there is a bin directory here. You can see this bin directory. So just cd to that directory and we are in the bin directory of uh, this Apache. So let's do ls once again and we have all these files there, okay? So let's me open this uh, in the finder also. So this is my Tomcat folder. And when I go inside this, I have uh, this bin folder, right? And inside this bin folder, I have some uh, .sh files, right? So what I need to do is I need to make these all sh files as executable files, right? So right now, let's check their permissions. So let me do, for example, ls minus al. So let me do minus al. And then I will just give a wildcard, which is an asterisk. So asterisk dot sh. Okay. So just do ls minus al asterisk dot sh, which is going to list all the dot sh file inside this bin folder. Right. And right now, as far as I can see, there is no executable permissions for these uh, files, .sh files. These executable permission you will be able to see at this level, at the last dash level, okay? So there is no executable permission. So we will change this permission by changing the permission of these files. So how to change the permissions? You just need to give chmod here and then plus x, plus x is going to make these file executable. And what are the files we want to make the executable? We want to make all the .sh files. So just give asterisk .sh. This means uh, whatever uh, files which end with .sh 
uh, this chmod command is going to work on those files okay so let me just press enter and it's done okay so they are made executable and we can check by ls minus al command so once again give ls minus al asterisk dot sh and now you can see there is a x flag added to these files earlier you can see there was no x file x means executable right so earlier there was no executable flag associated with these dot sh file but after our uh, chmod command this dot x flag is added to these files so that means we can execute these dot sh files right now for our purpose there are two files which are important one is uh, this startup.sh to start the tomcat and other is uh, the shutdown.sh to uh, shut down the uh, to shut down the tomcat server okay so first of all i'm going to just execute the startup.sh file so you just need to just give this command dot forward slash so just give dot forward slash and then startup.sh and this will execute this startup shell script okay so press enter and you can see the last message here tomcat started now how to check whether tomcat is properly started or not i'm going to go to my browser once again and in here i will just write localhost so just write localhost and then colon so just give uh, this colon and then port 80 80 okay so port 8080 is the default port for the tomcat to start on so localhost colon 8080 okay and then press enter and once you press enter hopefully you will be able to see this kind of interface and that means your apache server is running fine okay now to stop your uh, server you just need to run the stop uh, script so you just need to write dot forward slash and this time you just need to run this shutdown.sh file so just uh, this time run shutdown.sh and press enter and once you run this and refresh this page now nothing is uh, shown here right so our uh, apache tomcat server is stopped and you will not be able to see anything here okay so once again we can uh, restart this server and we can refresh this page and you will be able to see this once again right let me minimize the browser once again and there is one more option to start uh, your tomcat so let me just stop it really fast so i'm going to just run shutdown.sh and it's going to stop it right now in order to start uh, tomcat there is one more option so let me just do ls here to list out all the files and this time you can see there is a file called catalina.sh right we can uh, use this script also so just write uh, dot forward slash and then catalina.sh and then give uh, this argument start okay just give start here and then press enter and you can see uh, once again it's been started now it's important to know here is you need to have java jdk installed on your system in order to install tomcat it's a no brainer i think you already know that you need to have java installed on your system before installing the tomcat right now the last thing i want to do here is i want to open the this tomcat folder and i want to rename it to uh, tomcat so i'm inside my tomcat folder and there is my apache tomcat you can see here i want to rename it to something easy for example tomcat itself capital t so tomcat and generally we place this folder inside our library folder okay and now we are ready to move this folder to our libraries folder right but before that it's really important to stop your uh, tomcat server which you have already run okay 
So we have uh, given this command uh, and that means our uh, Tomcat server is already running. We can just uh, refresh our uh, uh, this local host port 8080 and you can see it's running. So let's stop this first of all. I'm going to just give the same command Catalina and then stop and this is going to stop this and let's double check this that this is not running so you can see it's not running so once this is not running then only we can move this to the other folder which is library folder okay so let's uh, open the new terminal let me open the new terminal and then i'm going to cd to the desktop so let's meet cd to the desktop and then this tomcat folder in which my real tomcat folder is so this folder right so i navigated to only to the tomcat folder which is the on the my desktop right and now i will uh, sudo mv so i will give administrative privileges and then mv is for moving and i want to move this tomcat folder to the library folder so forward slash library okay so this command will move this tomcat folder to the library folder let's press enter and give the max password here and once you open this folder you can see there is no uh, folder inside my tomcat folder on the desktop because it's moved to the directory called library right so just ls to the library or just cd to the library from this terminal so i'm going to just give cd forward slash library and then ls and i can see this tomcat folder is there right so we can go to the tomcat folder inside the tomcat by using cd tomcat and we can start uh, this catalina.sh from the bin folder so i will just go to the tomcat bin folder so just cd tomcat forward slash bin and then press enter and to ls and you can see this catalina.sh is there so once again forward slash dot forward slash catalina.sh press enter and i can see that uh, this tomcat is not started because i haven't given the start command with this right so i need to give a start command here so dot forward slash catalina.sh start right and then it's going to be started right so earlier i forgot to give uh, the start argument with this catalina.sh that that's why it's not started and now when i give I have given this command now it's started so let's recheck it and now it's running okay so in this way you can download and install tomcat on your mac operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now